Boats Unlimited, your authorized Mercury Platinum dealer in Baton Rouge. Plant Machine Works Incorporated. And your local Bayou GMC truck team present Cage and Quest, the Louisiana Fishing Show. Hello anglers and welcome again to another Cajun Quest. I'm your host Mike Ravelay and today we're down in Venice with my good buddy Captain Kevin Adaho of Cadian Unlimited Guide Service. Kevin's a newlywed. He and his longtime girlfriend Naomi just got married in February and it's getting a little hard getting him back on track on catching those trout, but <laughs> he's doing us a good job today. We're going to be fishing Deadly Dudleys under a popping cart in some muddy water down in Venice. So stand by. We'll be right back. You're watching Cajun Quest. The wind was a-blowing and the water was muddy, but Kevin had some trout tricks ready for us on this day, so I just enjoyed the trip downriver through the Rosos Cane. Tractor, saltwater version, and he's getting bite after bite. And I have I tried to see what they'll do without the um, saltwater uh, bait attracting on there. And I only have one bite compared to about four or five, so I'm about to put that bait attracting on. Looks like you make a good bait scent, Kenny. That time. Well, I'm going to have to put on a black and short trees a little bit. Oh, that's an easy too. All right, Kevin, that's four to nothing. You got those fish trained, is what it is. They know me by now. <laughs> Every day for the just past ahead, week. They just go ahead and give up. When they do that garbage, just go ahead and set the hook because he's already there. They just play him. Boy, he like just that. he didn't decide to take the thing under. He just kind of edged it. They'll, they'll grab it. One thing with his scent, that's why they're grabbing it. They're, they're biting it. Yeah. They're trying to eat it. I mean, they're not monsters. We let this back. He's a little small. You see how they're grabbing it, trying to eat it? Yep, he definitely did. Trying to eat that a piece at a time. I'm telling you. Using the intruder center tract and just put a little dab. And this deadly dud, I like to put in a groove right there. And what we're doing today is fishing a black and chartreuse deadly dudley under a, not a popping cork, but this cork has a rattle in it. It's a lot easier to throw in a popping cork. It doesn't make quite as much noise. And we're fishing, the reason we're fishing it under a cork is the water is not very clear at all. It's, it's pretty muddy water. But uh, you leave the bait dangling in front of them for a while with that bait attracting on there, and they'll find it in this muddy water. We're used to fishing that crystal clear water. Yeah, this water's been dirty for ever since the river came up. Yeah. And, it, uh, and the winds. Yeah, the winds not definitely not helping it whatsoever. Not at all. That was a good trout I just missed a minute ago. I turned my back for a second and hit the trolling motor. I looked around couldn't find my cork. I thought I had just misplaced it, but it was underwater. 
Looks like a little better fish. Well, them last two that hit me sure felt better. Probably about the same size. You just got a lot of sport to love doing. This feels like it. Uh, he's just a little feisty. Bad. He's feisty. Ain't a bad trout though. He ate that one though. He nibbled on it and tried to get that scent, then he just finally ate it. Put this one in the box. Wait for a baby to come over here and grab it. A little bit of puller than that last one was. Nice trout. Yep. That's a pretty one. Now these this size, we're gonna have fun with. We're gonna keep us a few for supper. These this size, you wanna let them go? It's up to you. Uh, I'd like to keep a couple of them for supper and catch a couple more like that. Uh, other than that, we can throw them back in. That was a pretty one. Come on, Trout. There he is. Yeah, you called him up. I called him up. Every now and then that'll work, <laughs> but not often. Oh yeah, perfect size for the frying pan. Perfect size for the frying pan. Finally caught the one that's been aggravating yeah. for the past <laughs> four casts. Blind bait trout. I called his name and he answered. That was almost like payout. <laughs> Got a mullet? <laughs> Boy, I hooked a mullet in the back of doing this one day. You talk about a pulling fish. That big old flathead they got, they can root. You know, I get questions all the time on about ways to fish a deadly dudley, and there's so many ways to fish it, and you've experienced just about all of them. Well, we've experienced them pretty much together. We've yep. fished them just about every way there is to fish. Deep water, shallow water, spinner, Carolina rig, top water, and today we're doing one of the, well, probably one of the easiest ways to fish it under a popping cork. For the novice fisherman, this is a pretty easy way. You're not having to feel that, that bite, and in this, this murkier water, it keeps that bait in front of them longer. Tell everybody a little bit of how we're doing this today, Kev. Well, what we've been doing is, past week or so, this water's been so dirty, and, and it's actually starting to warm up. These trout are down here, and the water's still dirty. And it's, what we happen to do is actually use a popping cork. I prefer the snap-on corks. You can snap them on, snap them off, take them off, whatever you want to do. And if y'all can hear, it's got a rattle in it. You can hear that rattle. And this cork don't make so much noise. Like a regular popping cork, when you jerk it in the water, it makes a real loud noise. And this one don't. It more slides than anything else. And all we're doing is putting it about two foot from our jig head and just snapping it on. It works so easy, it's so fast, you can move it around and it's done. That's a lot easier to cast too. You don't have your exactly. line Exactly. It, it don't pull, it. it don't jerk very right. hard. And we're taking the, the small Dudley. Black and chartreuse has been the best color. Putting it on a 3 8 ounce jig head, short shank hook. I'm real, real firm with a short shank hook. I don't like a long shank. Take a short shank hook and actually thread it in the same way you would any other Dudley. Putting it on, and it's ready to go. You're ready to fish. Another thing we've been doing today, and, and we've experienced already, Mike had probably one, two bites, and I've had a lot of bites, 10, 12, 15 bites on it, and we're actually using I explain why Mike this only had one, that's it. We were trying to see which, which way, uh, if this, uh, Kenny Waldrop uh, makes a good product here, we were trying to see what the difference would be with the bait scent and without the bait scent. Like Kevin said, I was getting one or two bites to his 10 or 12. So the bait attracting does work. Yep. What we're doing with this is actually taking it, and this is a liquid. It's not the spray and it's not the little can of, of the gel. We're taking it, opening it up, it's got a little spout on it, holding it out, and you try to, try to keep your fingers off of the bait because it, then it puts your human scent mm -hmm. on the bait. I'll always grab it by the jig head, grab it, and turn it up a little bit and put a couple drops on each side. I don't know if y'all can see or not, it's actually running down the bait. And it's you can see it down, just but dripping. It's not pouring off. It won't come off. It just runs down the bait and smears all the way down the bait 
and actually keeps that scent on there. Now this scent will last for 10 or 15 casts. And then all you do is just reapply another little section to it. And it actually keeps the fish, when they do bite it, they're holding on to it a lot longer than just short striking and letting it go. And what I like about it, it's not a real overpowering oily liquid. Uh, you get it on your fingers and you can immediately go ahead and start operating your reel. Oh, yeah. it doesn't, your fingers don't get all greasy Definitely. and oily with it. And it's not a real strong, stinky smell. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it put it, and when you put it down in the water, you can see the little slick that comes up from it. Yep. But uh, it stays on there pretty good. It's not real overpowering. Uh, it's made by Louisiana Delta Bait Company, and it's going to be in a lot of stores here shortly. And I predict a lot of success for the angler with using this stuff, yep. especially the novice angler. This will improve your, your catch. Oh yeah. That's another thing about fishing with a bobber, cork. Um, you do miss some fish with it, but they keep you interested pulling that back, that cork on it. You know you're going to stick one sooner or later. Yeah, okay, you're, you're going to miss a lot of fish with a cork. Oh, yeah. There he is. Didn't miss him. That's a trout. It sure will look like That's it. a trout. When you came up, that is a trout. Oh, that black tail. That's big. No doubt in my mind what that is. Big trout. Aye. As big uh, as I thought he was. He was just making a lot of noise. A lot of sporting blood to him. A lot of noise. We like that dandy Don, man. He first came up. Ah! <laughs> oh well. He's going back either way, huh? That's a better fish, boy. That's a better fish. Yeah. Swallowed it too. Nice fish. They like that dandy dime. They are partial to it. Boy, she swallowed that thing. Look, show that to the camera. Yeah, they swallowed it. Took it all the way down. Beautiful fish. All right, fishy. Go back in and grow. Not some eggs in the water. Go and grow. Well, I'm going to stay with that dandy down. <laughs> it's caught some good fish this morning. Well, I it's, it's very visible in the water. Look at it right there. You can see that water is milky, but look how well you can see that bait. Well, you're just talking about that there. She's a pretty one. They're eating that dandy down up, guy. All right, you better get off of one. <laughs> I can you do that. Catch up with me now. You got to get off of it. I can do that. They like that dandy don. That muddy water. That's a pretty one. We gonna keep her. Yeah, she's a little smaller yeah. than the other ones. My, that, that could be a male. Oh, look yeah. at the belly. Well, never mind. There he is. A nice little fish. Oh, threw my Dudley off. Boy, he hammered that thing like he weighed eight pounds. Pretty little trout. And even with these small trout, if you're using a, um, a line like the braided lines or the uh, any line that doesn't have a lot of stretch to it, you want to keep a loose drag. Because if that fish pulls and the drag doesn't give a little bit, It'll pull the, the hook right out of their mouth. Today I'm using a seven foot medium uh, saltwater popping special Kistler rod out here. And it's an excellent rod for this type of fishing. It'll fling that bait away and it's, it's such a light rod. It doesn't wear you out fishing with it. And it's sensitive. Oh, he come completely out of the water. See if he's got a buddy. Yeah, that's a better trout here. Better trout, Kevin. Let's see if he's got a buddy. My uh, cork had pulled down on my bait on my line. See, you push as soon as I up. pushed it back up, first cast, he hammered it. 
goodness. Whoa, must be a red. If that's a trout, it's a hoss. I haven't seen it yet. Whoa, come on, big daddy. Big trout. Big trout. That's the ones we're looking for. Yes, sir. That's the kind we're looking for. There they are. Give me five, Kay. I know they're around here somewhere. That's a good one. That's a good four. I know these fish are around here somewhere. I had a feeling it was a trout. He wasn't shaking his head like a red. And I know just where she was sitting, too. Kiss her by for me. Good fish. Beautiful trout. Go lay them babies. What's up? From there? Did you see him? He's been somewhere right in that area as well with that. Well, I mean, he set the hook on himself. I'd have worn that thing with five pounds the way he hit that bait. Perfect eating size. These are very handy to have in your boat to keep track of how many fish you have in your boat. It's nothing but a, a counter. Every time you push the button, it'll tell you the next fish you've caught. Right now we have 33 in the boat. Uh, just click it and don't worry about counting your fish. As you go along, you won't lose track that way. Very inexpensive. What does it cost you, Kevin? About a dollar, dollar 19 or so. Yeah, they're very inexpensive, very good to have in a boat with you. So I'm, sure every, uh, I'm sure every sporting goods store got them. Yeah. Uh, we got those from Academy, Academy Sports and Outdoors, and they, uh, I think every tackle shop probably has them by now. But um, they, they're really expensive. They come from, uh, from actually like the, the sports section where the weightlifting and all the sports section yeah. is in Academy. The reps they do on it. Exactly, like that's that. what it's designed for. Very good to have in your boat so you don't have to worry about going over the limit. Uh, we're not working on catching the limits today. We're just getting us a few for supper. And we're gonna try to play with some big trout in a little bit. But get one of these clickers and put it in your boat so you don't have to worry about getting a ticket because you miscounted. Which baits we use the green terra didn't it now? Dave just lost a beautiful trout on it. Playing with it in the back of the boat. <laughs> Don't play with that one. That's a good trout. Decent one, but not a monster. Depends on where you're fishing and who's catching them. I've seen people that will call those monsters. We switched lures. Now we're using the uh, Green Terra Deadly Dudley in the small size. Fish seem to really turn on to it for some reason. But they have liked it. They lost a really nice fish on it. I caught it. He goes, oh man, I'm talking to the camera and missing a fish. Go. There he is again. Good fish, too. Not bad. They have really turned on to that green terror, Deadly Dudley. Oh, man, he swallowed, too. I missed him the first time. Got him the second time. The way it's, you miss them the first time, you get them back. Yeah. Well, that wind has a lot to do with that. They can't find it in this murky water. Another one. If you look right back here, you can see what we were talking about. The that rose is going to die because of the salt water cutting its roots. 
That it will do. Probably within six months, 90% of that will be gone again. Well, they'll, you'll get some fresh water here in this big rise coming. So that might save it a little bit. Look at it. I never even had to pop it. He just ate it. He just came and got it sitting there on the floor. Yeah. Well, I'm making a real money in the second see if he's got a buddy. <laughs> Dave lost could have swallowed this one. A little mayo right there. Damn, this is a big trout. A very big trout. I know they're here. It's time again for the Captain Lafitte Rodeo, put on by the UNO Ambassadors out of Breton Sound Marina in Hopedale. May the 20th will see anglers catching fish and winning prizes. Some lucky angler just may catch the tag redfish that will win them a new 2001 GMC Sierra like the one I drive for my good friends at Crown Buick GMC in New Orleans. For more information on the tournament, log on to my website at www.cajunquest.net. So come for the fishing, food, fun, and the great prizes May the 20th. If you haven't made a trip down to Venice, give Captain Kevin a call at the number on your screen. I stay at the Great Cabins at Venice Marina, and we have a heck of a time. The fishing in Venice is some of the best in the world, and Kevin can put you on them.